a very exciting video planned. It is a story time slash life update video for you all and I'm going to be diving into all the details surrounding my knee accident where I tore my ACL and meniscus that led to a huge major surgery. So before we get into that, as always, make sure that you like and subscribe down below and turn on the post notification bell right next to the subscribe button so that you get notified every time that I upload a brand new video. So let's get straight into it. It was two weeks before Christmas that this accident happened and I mean of course it had to happen in 2020 because 2020 was definitely the year that decided to stuff my whole knee. What actually happened was I'd done two concerts that day. I came home and my sister had just broken up from school so it was really fun. We were super happy and we were in the dance room playing around, doing tricks and stuff like that, which we do a lot of the time because it's really fun. And the idea came about that I should try a side aerial. And I always do side aerials, front aerials, all that type of stuff on my right leg. And the idea was that I should try it on my left leg. And so me being super confident, I was like, oh yeah, that's nothing. So I did it once, I was like, yep, got it, did it twice, did it a third time to be sure, third time's not the charm in this scenario, and looked down, my kneecap was halfway down my leg and I just knew something was not right. So we went down to the hospital and they did an x-ray, but the x-ray couldn't show enough of what was actually going on and the x-ray did show that it wasn't dislocated so they referred us to go and get an MRI to see what was really going on actually inside the knee with all the muscles and everything. I had to go to our local doctor to get the results back and he said that I had torn my two meniscuses and ruptured my ACL which was my worst fears were realised crazy and then he said that at this point we have to go and get an opinion from a surgeon us to a surgeon and we were very lucky because I had done so much damage to my knee we actually got in with the surgeon quite quickly so it was Christmas Eve and we went up to see the surgeon and we felt so confident with him because he's done so many ballet dancers knees before even at the Queensland Ballet so it definitely wasn't his first time at the rodeo and what he basically said was go away for three months and rehab it because he felt like because I was only 11 if we did that we would see better results and so I went back rehabbed it and this was keep in mind Christmas Eve so it was not a very so my amazing physio Scott Thompson at Evolve Byron Bay and I got to work straight away I was in physio three times a week of an afternoon and sometimes mostly for multiple hours at a time and then the days that I wasn't at the physio I had a whole plan of exercises that I was doing at home so I would wake up at 6 a.m and try not to wake the rest of the house up because 6 a.m. is fine for me. I love getting up early and get all my schoolwork out of the way and then I could do all of my exercises for the rest of the afternoon and I was so determined not to let that goal beat me of going down and competing in the Australian Classical Championships and I just wanted it so badly. Of competing in the Australian Classical Championships it was really, I didn't mind if I was not dancing for the rest of the year with this knee. I just so badly wanted to compete in that competition. So it was a variation that you had to do. And my current variation before I did my knee was Bluebird. And if you know Bluebird, it is very kicks and spins and turns and everything that pretty much my knee couldn't handle at that point. 
So we had to change my variation from Bluebird and we chose the Crystal Fountain Fairy. You might know it as Candy Fairy from Sleeping Beauty. And that is just very like in the nicest way possible. Wafty wafty. It's just like no, 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 no. Just very like that. And so what we did after that is we went down, competed with my Crystal Fountain Fairy variation and I just wafted about stage, did my thing and I actually ended up winning, which was so amazing because that has been one of my biggest goals since I did my knee. And then I came back from competing and I was on a huge high, I was so happy and what happened was I was trying out some new choreography and my knee actually went on me again because I may have been a bit overconfident being really happy with just winning and I was absolutely, mum and I were devastated because I just thought all that work was now just going to be for nothing. So after my knee buckled on me for the second time, I just knew at that point that I didn't want to have to carry this knee along with me the rest of my journey and it sort of, I came to the realisation that the surgery is probably what will be needed at this point because a few weeks after it buckled on me the second time, a few weeks after that I did the JMA awards which is the RAD awards and I did my variation and they told me to go on stage for it and I went on stage, did the whole thing and then I got off and they said, sorry, the judges were still deliberating, we need you to go again for a second time in a row, straight again. So I was just like, okay, whoa, like my knee, it can't be fatiguing like that. And they made me go on stage again and then halfway through doing the whole variation again, it just was not feeling great. I could tell it was fatiguing and I could tell that the surgery, I just really wanted the surgery because I didn't want to have to carry that knee along with me for the rest of my journey. So now it's my second appointment with the surgeon. We had our appointment with him and he took us to go and get an x-ray. And so we got the x-ray, we came back to him that same day and he said that he looked at the x-ray and he could see that there was enough room around the growth plate to actually go in and do the surgery and get the best results possible. So he said to me, Daisy, is this what you want? Do you want the surgery? And I just said, yes, I really want it because I do not want to be dancing just with a disadvantage all the time. I want to get on with my life. I want to start doing turns and jumps love doing all of that and I just want to go back to my normal life and put this whole knee behind me. So after I made the decision just to bite the bullet and have the surgery so that I can move on with my life, I decided to finish up for the year after the JMA Ballet Awards and just have the surgery and move on with my life. So I had the surgery, here I am now, I'm feeling amazing and it's two weeks since I've just had the surgery which was a full ACL reconstruction and they took the graft from my hamstring to construct a new ACL for me and I'm not in any pain at all which is a miracle at this point and I'm so happy and grateful that I am not in any pain because I've heard that the pain can be extremely bad and I just moved off from two crutches onto one crutch. A bit of a funny story, when he, the physio gave me the crutches, I was a bit disappointed because I really wanted pink crutches. Of course me expecting pink crutches, I honestly was about to ask him if he had any pink ones which would have been a bit crazy. But now I'm on one crutch and I'm feeling so much better. But so as always in the dance world there's always gossip that goes around and rumours that start and unfortunately the rumour started that my knee and people were believing that my knee wasn't real and that I hadn't injured myself and that I'm sitting in a hospital bed going through surgery, it's all ready enough on me and it was really disappointing that other people were making it harder. <laughs> It's 
as I've said, we were so upset to begin with that I already had to go through this and it was just like more of everything that was happening wasn't actually helping me and it was making me feel even worse and that's really sad. The dance community is so supporting but there were those rumours that I had to address because they weren't needed and I really felt upset about them and it really was a huge like weight on my shoulders that people thought that because my mum and I have always been so transparent on Instagram and what you always would see on Instagram maybe me dancing isn't actually what's going on in real life all the time so lucky because I would see football players rupture their ACL and hardly be able to walk but my journey was so different and I was so lucky that I was able to still dance on with a ruptured ACL and on to all the positive huge thank you to everyone who was so supportive of me there were I got hundreds of DMs from all of you and all your kind words really meant so much to me after having to go through such a devastating incident with my knee and I just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone who helped me get through this I always love messaging you all so here's my Instagram if you ever want to DM me or comment or talk to me I'm always on there and I love speaking to you all as always you guys know that so I just wanted to say a big thank you to everyone who has always been so supportive of me so thank you all so so much for watching the real story about my knee and what's really going on I hope you all loved watching and really just getting a bit of an insight into what's really been happening behind the scenes. I hope you all loved the video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe down below. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Love you. Mwah.